All right, all right, all right. It has been a long time. I haven't done a lot on this channel. So, um, well, uh, let's start doing something um, as everybody does in the lockdown. So, um, what can you do? This is what we're doing. I mean, we are, we are at home, we are cooking. What can you do? You stay at home, you cook. I'm really into something sweet right now. I want to do a tiramisu. I go to the supermarket, buy the ingredients of the tiramisu, and <laughs> the ingredients for the tiramisu cost three times the already ready-made prepared tiramisu. Well, but we want to do something, you know, original. So let's do it. I already started and then it came to mind, okay, why not? Let's, let's shoot this. Uh, so um, you see this? This is coffee made with a little mocha. That's the second round. Let's see, here we go. So I should have like 300 milliliters. I think this is not enough. So I need another round of coffee. Let's see, Ooh, pretty hot. So what we need to, um, to do a tiramisu is obviously, as we can see here, coffee. Coffee is, uh, is one of the most characteristic ingredient for the tiramisu. And um, well, I don't want to sound like, uh, you know, the big chef here because I'm not, but um, you know, living in Italy for quite a long time, you learn something. Let me just throw this away, this, this. Here we go, pum, pum, pum. There it is. So water till the valve, not, not more than because, you know, this valve is like a security valve. So you don't want this thing to explode. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Close it. Well, obviously you could use a bigger mocha, but um, I don't have one. So it's the small one. That's it. So I'm preparing this, uh, this coffee basically. Um, and um, in this coffee go the cookies. These are the cookies. It's Savoyardi. Um, it's like special Italian cookies. Let me get one. Here we go. So these are the Savoyardi cookies. Let me, let me see the focus. Here we go. So these are Savoyardi cookies. Um, they're very light. I'm, I don't think calorie wise, but they are light like uh, weight wise. Hmm. We need 300 gram of Savoyardi. Mm. One pack is 200 gram. So I have two packs. Mm. Sounds good. So, um, mm. sorry. What we need to do now, and, and here comes the bad thing. I'm really not prepared for this kind of stuff. Um, we need to separate eggs, four eggs. Separate the, the white from the red. Here we go, one, two, three, four eggs. And then we have to um, mount the white of the eggs, which is Usually already, you know, you have to pay attention that nothing of the red gets into the white. Um, and then you take your electric thing and you mount it. But who has an electric thing? I don't. So I have to do it by hand. Wow, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea if this is going to work. So let's see. First of all, let's try to separate the eggs. Here we go, four eggs. The mocha does its job. So, coffee. So that should be enough. This is the, the coffee to, uh, to put the cookies in. 
But now comes the point, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> look at this. This is very, very small. This is like, um, this is like, like for a dollhouse. Oh yeah, mm, give me this. I have no freaking idea how I can do this. So let's try. This should be like minutes and minutes and minutes. Oh my goodness! This is Master Chef, basically. Freaking hell! Woo! This is really a thing. Oh my goodness! It's coming, it's coming. Hmm. In theory, I should be able to put this upside down without it floating out. Oh, let's try a little bit more. This is the gym session for today. It doesn't look too bad, I mean. Incredible. I would have never thought that. Yes, but it's it's okay. It's okay. All right. So oh. the yellow of the eggs now um, has to go together with this cheese mascarpone. There we go. Let's see mascarpone. Yes. So that's some kind of fresh cheese, Italian one. Um, so we had these four eggs. We have 500 gram of mascarpone. Now we have to do this. Same thing with the yellow of the eggs. It has to become a little bit creamy and clear. Oh, but I need, also need some sugar. Here we go. So sugar, we need 100 gram of sugar. Okay, sugar, here we go. Yes, so we put half of the sugar. This is 100 gram sugar. Half of it goes into the eggs. There we go. So what we get out of this is this. It's like a creamy, light yellow, mass and now the mascarpone comes into the game here we go mascarpone mm -hmm. let's put 250 gram of the mascarpone and then we mix this mascarpone and eggs oh che bello Ah, che roba. <laughs> yes. So this is like how, how, you know, the grandmothers would have done it. Like no electrical help, which is good on the one hand, because, you know, you get, you get really strong arms. But on the other hand, it's like also very, very, very tiring, especially when you work with the Barbie tool. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's really small. It's another 250 gram. Here we go. Okay, and mixing again. Mascarpone, amico mio. Mischiamo. Mm. Obviously, I did a little error. Should have used half of the sugar to mount the uh, the white of the eggs, but since I didn't, well, now the rest of the sugar goes into this mix here. And now we take the white of the eggs and we, we we put it into that, but very slowly with very with care. It's very easy that it uh, it loses its property. You see, this is how it should be. 
but there's some of the egg stuff underneath which is actually liquid so I can't use that I'm just using this now very slowly so it becomes a lighter cream so from what I can see here I have maybe used two-thirds of it the rest is liquid and I think I cannot recover it it's just uh, it's, it's probably dirty now by you know by the, the spoon I've put in and once it's not it's not totally white the white of the eggs anymore it's not possible to get this um, spongy consistency but it feels already pretty good, I have to say. I don't know if you can see that. Yes. So, the cream is done. What we need to do now is take, take a container that is rectangular. And, um, and then we start by putting the Savoyardi in the uh, the coffee and we make one layer um, of like coffee cookies okay let's start with with a little bit of the cream here so we don't have like like air holes and on the ground let's see okay nice Okay, so one layer. Now, the cookies, not the ones that I've already eaten, but those here. Okay. So what we do now is we take the coffee, maybe we need more, and we just put the cookie like quickly in the coffee, like foop. So then, it sucks a little bit of um, of the coffee. We turn it and we do the same on the other side. That's it, very quickly. Some people like it more, you know, um, more liquid. I think this is pretty good. If we, if we just dip it quickly in, um, because these cookies are very, very airy and they suck the coffee very quickly. Um, and I don't want this thing to become too wet in the end because this this is going to go in in the cookie anyhow and there's also this um the cream here the the mascarpone cream i think there is enough wetness um <clears throat> going on already you can see when i open it that's how it uh, looks like so the coffee goes inside and it will go even more um once it sits and then we go with a layer of cream here we go so that's how it looks like now we need a second level more cookies I need one more mocha, I can't do anything about it. It's just about for, I don't know, a few cookies, but what can you do? Um, you don't want one piece of the tiramisu to be dry. This is what it is. You know, this is, this is one thing I'm, I'm always like, oh my goodness. So you do this coffee by hand. I mean, nowadays all the people, they go like, oh, Nespresso and, you know, uh, with the capsules. But this is the, the, the classical way, which is, which is also a nice way to do it. And you don't, you know, throw away all this aluminum stuff. And this is, this is how coffee was made for a long time. So this is pretty great. In the meantime, a cookie. Mm. Okay, waiting for... Mm, for the last coffee to come out. This is cacao, 
this is chocolate powder basically but it's um it's not sweetened it's just the pure thing oh yes pure chocolate powder and there comes another thing do i have what i need i probably don't i don't so i have to find a way to make this this powder action later um without you know leaving chunks of of chocolate on the uh, tiramisu yeah baby coffee is ready very nice so now of course we have a little bit of a problem because this is very hot now but well what can i do i'm not gonna wait until it's cold so i'm gonna just burn my fingers Have a look. That is the, the thing. I want to keep some mascarpone. Maybe I can make like a very, very small tiramisu for my neighbor. I think that would be a nice thing. Um, I'm not so sure I'm gonna have enough mascarpone to make another one. Here we go. And well, let's, let's see what we can do now. Since I don't have what I really need. Let me see, maybe with a fork we can do this. Wow. This is not, not how it, it should be done. Let's see. Uh, but it kind of works. Should be, should be good anyhow. So here we go. Tiramisu fatto in casa. Ta-da! Nice. We have to let this sit for a while and then it's gonna be Ah, lots of running to get rid of the calories. And here it is, micro tiramisu done. I'll just bring this to my neighbor. And um, yeah, so this was just an attempt, just an attempt to do one Italian recipe. Um, because, you know, we are all in lockdown. So um, within the one million other recipes, here we go, tiramisu. Just let this sit for a couple of hours and then it's going to be fine. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.